fans of high quality entertainment? Well, my buddy Glenn Calloway from the basement is having a contest, and he's actually here right now to tell you a little bit about the contest. Take it away, Glenn. Ah, uh, so I'm going to have the theme is progressive rock. Um, I want you to show three prog rock albums in your collection. So, I mean, prog rock is a pretty wide. You know, there's like say five bands that are really considered the prog rock. You know, Genesis, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, King Crimson, Yes, and uh, I don't know who I'm forgetting. Forgetting somebody. Fog Hat. Um, can't think. Anyway, um, but the genre extends to Pink Floyd, Jethro Tull, bands like that. So, Fog Hat. I mean, it's it's pretty wide range. If you need to stretch a little bit, just you want to enter the contest and you don't have prog rock albums, I'm not. You're still going to get an entry in the contest, so just do your best. And I would appreciate everyone's support on this. And tell your friends, and tell your neighbors, and tell your loved ones, and tell them to subscribe. So um, the gift I am going to give for the lucky winner will have a draw is a thirty-dollar gift certificate from Amazon. Um, I'm going to have the draw on March 16th, so mar up to midnight March 15th, you can enter draw on the 16th, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to show the records that, because I am unarmed, I don't have so you get the idea. my record collection while I'm staying in Orlando. Be quiet, Clem. So I'm showing... So, yeah, I hope... Uh my viewers, if you're not subscribed to Glenn Kelly from the basement, I hope you uh, make your own video and let him know on his video. I'll have the link below for his video. And uh, yeah, uh, let's all try and get Glenn to 1,000 subscribers, maybe even today. So I have three, three progress, well, one of them isn't really progressive rock. But Glenn said, you know, he's not going to be that picky about it. Uh, the first one I have is Danny Davis, Nashville Brass, Super Country. <laughs> Just joking. Don't want to get Glenn mad. So, yeah. For the contest, I'm entering three... Three of my probably three favorite newish, they're not new bands, but they're bands that I haven't really, I've heard of them for years and years and years. And thanks to Glenn Kellaway, when we do our CD exchange, I've become huge fans of all three of these bands. And one of them very recently. So first off, I will say my first progressive rock album is from this box set, Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come. Now some of you might know Arthur Brown. He had a pretty big hit in the 60s with Fire. And but besides that, I thought he was just, you know, nothing great and he had a he was like a one-hit wonder. But no. He has ma he has major talent. And I'm really impressed with his band Kingdom Come. They released uh, three official albums, and then this also has a lot of bonus material and live stuff. And the one I'm going to pick for this contest is their third album, Journey. But all three of them are, are great albums, and they are very progressive and very weird. <laughs> I think each album becomes progressively, progressively weirder, and this third one is definitely pretty out there. And it's also known as probably the very first album to use a drum machine. They, they didn't have a drummer. So Arthur Brown, you know, programmed the, the, drum, the drum machine himself. And it actually, you know, usually a, a drum machine is annoying and whatever, but, but he's very, so creative that he made it very interesting on this album. So I highly suggest you check out Arthur Brown's Kingdom Come. If you like progressive rock, that's on the, a little bit on the bizarre side. 
but I really love his vocals too. It takes a bit to get used to them, but he really truly was or is a great singer. Arthur Brown. My uh, second progressive rock <laughs> It's not as funny the second time. My second progressive rock album is once again a band that I had heard of for years and years and years and I thought they were just like a kind of like a second-rate Rolling Stones band and that's the way they kind of started out just doing like rhythm and blues songs and albums 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 but then came SF Sorrow and the follow-up, Parachute, and they're both excellent. I, I want, want to actually get their earlier albums, too, and their later albums. But this particular album really blew me away, as, as does SF Sora, which I bought a few days ago. Uh, the harmonies are just so gorgeous. They don't do it enough, but when, when their voices blend, it, it's just beautiful. It's... Uh, Kind of like the Beatles because, and this was recorded at Abbey Road Studios in the early 70s, but it's uh, just an, an amazing album and everybody should check out The Pretty Things, Parachute and SF Sorrow. But this is my favorite of the only the two albums I've heard so far. The third progressive rock album, and I had a choice of quite a few of their albums, although I haven't heard them all in this recent box set I bought, but boy, am I blown away by this band. And once again, I'd heard of them for years and years and years. They're, they were fairly popular. And so I bought this box set, Spirit, the o Ode, is it Ode? The Ode and Epic Recordings, 1968-1971. So all of their early albums remastered. And lots of bonus stuff. And I've been really impressed. Uh, actually, for our CD exchange that we did, or we're doing, just taking a break from it because Glenn is in the United States of America at the moment. Yeah, the, uh, now these are, like, they have two albums on, on one CD, usually. So, yeah, when we did the CD exchange, he gave me The Twelve Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. Sardon Sardonicus. Is that how you say it? I don't know. And that's sort of like, like what the album cover looked like. It took me a listen or two to get into it, but now I became a fan of Spirit. And so I bought this box set. And I've been listening to their first album, Spirit, and their second one, The Family That Plays Together, which features, no, it's, uh, sorry, the debut album features, is it Taurus? All these, all these words I can't pronounce, which is pretty famous for supposedly Led Zeppelin copied the music from Taurus for Stairway to Heaven, of, of course, Spirit, or Randy California's estate, lost the uh, court battle for that, although it might still be... They might try and do it again, I guess. Uh, but yeah, such a great band. Progressive. They have, like, jazzy... They, they do jazzy music on these albums, and pro progressive rock, heavy rock ballads, uh, just a, a really, really talented band. So, And then, of course, I could have shown, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm really into Porcupine Tree now and Stephen Wilson, but Glenn only wanted me to show three albums and this one. <laughs> so, yeah, head over to Glenn Kelloway from the Basements uh, channel and uh, join the showing you know, three progressive rock albums that you have. Join his contest. And let's get Glenn to 10 million subscribers by the end of this month.
Thank you.